job. A young man with special needs says some of his co-workers made it so bad he had to walk away from his position at Kroger. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is in New Baltimore tonight with how the company is responding to these allegations. As a courtesy clerk, Gio was gathering shopping carts, bringing them inside, as well as bagging groceries here at the 23 mile road Kroger location. That all ended when bullying began, Gio says, and the bullying went on for months by coworkers. After a bit of searching, 23 year old Gio Trapani, who has autism, landed a job at Kroger in New Baltimore last April. I was grateful. I was, was grateful. very excited. We were it took us a long time to find someplace that would actually hire an impaired person. It all went well for the first three months or so. Then things started to change. Gio says he was getting mean comments, cashiers telling him to not bag their lane, sensors placed in his jacket for them to go off at the door and this. One of the baggers, I can got names, he, he called me and another impaired young man a homosexual couple. Gio's mom April says enough was enough. After raising the alarm multiple times, she was pulling him out. Kids nowadays, you know, they, they think they can take advantage of someone with a disability and it's like, it's not right, you know, it's just flat out not right. Gio and his mom say they just want the bullying to stop, not just for Gio, but the other special needs worker getting harassed as well. The other individual, he has no way of communicating that he's, this is going on. He's and, mentally handicapped. I mean, severely, and that's just- He still works there. He yeah. still works there, and his parents probably have no idea, and they probably just want him to work, you know, and they just don't like know. Did. Yeah, and what a mistake I made, and I won't make the mis same mistake again as a parent. I. I I let him know. In a statement, Kroger says in part, an investigation started immediately when the situation was brought to our attention. We have a zero tolerance to bullying within our stores. It goes on to say there were no previously recorded instances previously and our company is a supporter of Defeat the Label in an effort of anti-bullying and last year won three awards in support of hiring those with special needs and providing them growth in their future. Again, this will be handled. Reporting in New Baltimore, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Yeah, good to hear Kroger responding because you see so many people working at their stores.